Hi guys, this is Hero, and today I'm going to be discussing the easiest and simplest way to have the best spiritual diet for yourself, okay? So, I know there's a lot of advice, okay? There's kind of like the spiritual advice on foods we should and shouldn't eat. However, when it comes to that, we truly don't know how the food is prepared in this day and age. For example, back centuries ago, milk was, you know, produced fresh daily on a farm. Today, it's highly processed um, in factories, okay? Uh, so there's a lot of spiritual advice that could kind of go either way just due to the dynamics of the world we live in today. Same thing with nutritional advice, okay? We truly don't know how the food is being processed that we eat. So, how do we determine the best foods for us to eat that's going to help us at a spiritual level, okay? The best thing we can do is listen to our own body when we consume food, okay? That's the best diet possible. Now, obviously, use the spiritual and the nutritional uh, kind of a general advice given to kind of set a baseline of where to start. However, from there, you are going to want to be very observant of how your body reacts to the food you eat, okay? We are what we eat. This is the most applicable when it comes to our spiritual body, right? Our spiritual body is literally rejuvenated from the spiritual energy of the foods we consume, okay? As well as the water and air and other stuff, but the food has a very, very big part of it, okay? The food we literally consume and it sits in the middle of our bodies to be broken down to spread everywhere else, okay? So, we hear a lot these days, okay, certain foods, they make my stomach upset, okay? When you feel like this, you are going to want to be very observant of the foods that cause you to feel like that. Now, here's where it gets a little bit more tricky. There could be certain parts of certain foods that are causing that and not necessarily the whole meal itself. Let me give you an example. Let's just say you ate a meal that was comprised of five different things, okay? And that made you feel not well in the stomach afterwards, okay? You just kind of feel off also throughout the rest of your body, including at a mental level. Now, what you're going to want to do is you're going to kind of want to basically perform sort of like an experiment on yourself with those foods in the near future, okay? Kind of see, okay, there's five things in that food. Now try to isolate each one of those five with other things that you might know sit well with you um, so that you can kind of identify, okay, what is it that's not sitting well with me with this foods, okay? Let's just say, for example, you have a bowl, okay? It has some kind of carb, like rice, some kind of protein, like let's just say lentils, and let's just say, uh, just for simplicity's sake, it has um, a vegetable, okay? Let's just say it has Brussels sprouts, okay? So there's a lentil um, or a bean, you could say, uh, a vegetable and a carb, like rice, okay? And um, these three foods actually are all genuinely pretty good for you. These three, I'm using an example, but I'm just giving you an example because let's just say you eat this and it's not feeling good, right? You could, you want to isolate those three in the near future and see, okay, which one was it that made me feel a little bit off? Was it the lentil that I consumed? Was it the protein? I mean, um, excuse me, the vegetable that I consumed or was it the carbohydrate I consumed? Okay. And like I said, nutritionally, let's just say something seems good on the surface. We don't know how that food was truly created, what went into it and how it's processed. Okay. So that could also influence your, um, how that food is sitting with your stomach, right? Let's just say, for example, the Brussels sprouts in this meal was not sitting that well. Well, you might want to try that Brussels sprout from another brand, or you might want to try to buy it from somewhere else and see if that sits a little bit better with you. If it does, you know, it's not all Brussels sprouts, um, as a whole that's doing this. It might just be the way that package of Brussels sprouts was processed. Okay. You're going to have to want to think about all this. Okay. Let's just say you had a meal and you had some type of sauce or some type of yogurt with it. 
you want to see, okay, this meal, it was fine up until now. Now, all of a sudden, it upset in my stomach. Could it have been the sauce or the, you know, the yogurt I had with it? And if it was that, is it an ingredient that yogurt was made out of? Or was it just, you know, this particular brand of sauce or something? Uh, it's just processed in a certain way that doesn't sit well with me spiritually, right? Now, moving on. The more spiritual and spiritual we get, the higher our vibration goes, the more we are going to have to consume higher vibrational foods to maintain our high level of spiritual vibration, okay? It's kind of like when we're working out, right? Let's just say you're doing powerlifting for strength or you could be doing bodybuilding or kind of just toning your physique um, as far as working out goes. What, however much you build yourself, your strength and your physique, you're going to have to maintain that, okay? That's kind of like this here. How, when you grow spiritually and elevate, um, you know, connect with your higher consciousness and stuff like that, you're going to have to maintain that with your lifestyle and a big part of that is the foods you eat. Okay, so it is possible that something could be completely okay with you one day and then later on down the line, it's not because of the fact that um, your vibration went so high. Now, all of a sudden, these foods are, you know, they're no, they're kind of, they're going to start holding you down. Okay. When you were at a little lower vibration, it was fine. But as you keep growing up and up, your body's going to have that higher, higher, higher awareness to be more sensitive of the lower vibrational parts of all these foods. Okay. So that's just basically a very general, easy, but highly, highly, highly effective way of having the most spiritual diet, okay? I'd recommend you not going on the outside to find this stuff, okay? Only at the beginning, you go on the outside. After a while, you want to go inside, okay? You have all the answers within you, okay? If you connect to the higher consciousness, you'll, you'll, you'll get all the answers you need, okay? And I would, I know on your journey sometimes, you'll find out that you have a certain resistance to a certain food that you don't want to have a resistance to, okay? You might like it a lot. It might taste good, something like this. So, but you'll notice over time that it'll just get to a point where the it's just worth it to not keep eating it anymore than to keep eating it and then feel spiritually ill afterwards, okay? The reason why you feel spiritually ill also is because those foods are at you the higher your vibration is the more you have more awareness and more intuition when you put those lower foods in you your awareness and intuition gets kind of dumbed down so that's why you kind of feel ill you're not able to kind of connect to the energies and the sources that you need to to function at a higher spiritual level anymore okay one other quick note i want to make um is dairy okay so a lot of people i know they have they've developed very high sensitivities to dairy or red meat. You want to see, okay, um, is, it, is, it, is it all dairies and red meats? I'll just focus on dairy for right now, right? You can just apply the same concept and analogies I'm using to red meat, but I'll just talk about dairy. So it's dairy. Is it all dairy or is it just some? Okay, you want to see, okay, is it, like for example, highly processed, Pizzas and stuff like this. This is probably one of the lowest, like 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 chain pizzas, like like um, like you know, just really quick pizzas. These are probably the lowest quality of cheeses, um, or like cheese in like fast food places. These are probably the lowest quality of cheeses available. So these are probably going to upset your stomach more. Now, more fresh cheeses and more highly, um, more high quality cheeses. You could notice at least for a little while until your vibration gets a little higher, you're able to tolerate these foods a little bit better, right? Like paneer, it's like an Indian cheese, for those who don't know. Um, like very, very high, like for example, like like, uh, like, 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 like block cheeses, like they're not as, some of them are not quite as processed, okay? So you just wanna kind of be aware of that. Just remember, um, out of all your meals, you wanna see what, you want to, and your intuition will kind of tell you, like, you can just look at it and you can tell like, man, that, 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 that carb on this, on this item, it's not going to sit well with me. Or that protein, that dairy, something in here is not sitting well with me. If your intuition is telling you that, I would highly encourage you to 
listen to your intuition, okay? That's how kind of the law of uh, attraction works, okay? The more energies you connect with, the stronger they become. The more you listen to your intuition, the stronger they come. But if you listen to your ego and just kind of eat what you want to eat and ignore it, eventually, I mean, you'll come around eventually, but you can get the ball rolling a lot quicker if you just listen to your intuition, okay? Sometimes you have to turn off your brain, turn off your ego, because, because your ego can trick your brain, okay? But it's hard for you, your, your, your higher consciousness, it's never gonna get fooled, but your ego is gonna try to be louder than your higher consciousness, okay? So you just wanna kinda listen to your higher consciousness, remember that um, if it tries to tell you something about a certain food, it's probably right, and if you eat a certain food and you feel a little ill afterwards, Try to isolate what it was or what group of things caused you to feel ill and if you spiritually ill. And if you are able to identify those things, try to see, okay, is it the foods themselves or is this just a specific way the foods you had at that moment were processed? So was it, for example, the way that specific cheese you ate was processed from that brand or is it just all, you know, Parmesan cheese in general, okay? Um, Hope that cleared things up. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, let me know. Like I said, at the end of the day, always look inside. You'll get all the answers, okay? So thank you guys for watching. Uh, until next time, talk to you guys later. Thank you.